Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I think I had the weirdest dream. It was like voices really freaking me out. And I can't. Wait. I can't sleep. Well, I'm here waiting at the airport. My flight's about to leave. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. So, uh, what are you hoping the audiences and fans will take away from the death of April when they get to see it? Um. Uh, um. Then you could do something decent with a very low budget. <laughs> You could do something that's a little cinematic with a low budget. If not super cinematic, more something they could play on Netflix or play on a streaming service. It didn't cost two hundred thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Because even those documentaries you watch on Netflix cost a pretty penny. It wasn't like they cost like like fifty thousand or something like that. So it's kind of like we pulled off that similar look and feel. I believe with a really, really small budget. And I guess the budget was around $20,000 for this film. And that went more into like paying the actors, paying the crew, um, insurance and all that stuff like that. Because if you're a filmmaker, you know that that amount of money is absolutely nothing, you know, to make any kind of movie. That's more like a short film budget. But to do something where we were renting gear and getting all this stuff and kind of like juggling a, a budget of that small, that crazy small and still doing a project that can't, which we actually pulled off. It's kind of something to be proud of. And I hope that people take, understand that. Like when they see a film, everybody considers movies and they go, oh, this was made with a lot of money. I don't know why it's like this and that. It's like, no, it wasn't. We didn't have that the luxury of a lot of things to actually, to make this film. And I mean, I understand that sometimes it pushes you to be more creative, but it also having a little bit of pad when it comes to finances, finances is like it helps you out because especially if you have to do a pickup shot and you have to call an actor back it's like you got to remember that they're part of the process but they're also needing to get paid you know what i mean and you also got to pay a crew because they have to feed themselves and all that stuff like that like it's great to pull favors from friends but you still also have to try to help them you know you know financially as well Absolutely. I mean, we're 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 currently in pre-production on our uh, debut short film, um, and yeah, we're gonna have a budget on there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm not not just pulling in favors. Uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, the thing. The majority of it is gonna be people being paid, uh, because yeah, I. I mean, like you don't make a short film uh, with the intention of making a profit. You don't. Yeah. I mean, they're they're there as a. Well, I mean, we're going to use it as a proof of concept for a, a feature, but yeah. um, you have to make the we have to make the short first. So I'm 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 happy. Um, I I don't I don't really mind if I don't get paid. Um, as long as everyone else gets paid, I'm happy. I just want to make the film. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. The same with this movie. It's like it's more not about me getting paid. It's more about if we can pay the producers back and pay the people who actually help the, the who donated funds to make this movie possible. Because I think everybody and also like I said, we pay the people who need to be paid. But it's like the other day, the people who believed in you, like the producers who invested the money, even though it's a small amount of money, it's always nice to give them back the money and also mm -hmm. give them hopefully a little bit of a profit from that. So if you do another project. You kind of go back to that well and be like, hey, I need more money. Can you guys give me some more money to do something better or bigger? And it's like, you could probably get that. You know, I mean, it's like, it's always because people take a chance on you. And then, one, I, I respect that people actually would take a chance and 
invest into this project to make it believing that we could do it. And we did do it. We have a film, but it's more now will people enjoy it enough that we could recoup some of that funds so they could actually pay the producers back and then hopefully do a new project, which I'm currently working on a new project and we have investors for that. But it's always great to know the new project producers know that the former producers got paid on that their film. You know what I mean? Because it, mm. it kind of like, it's like it's a small industry. So it's always everything moves by word of mouth kind of deal. And if you're the king of making schlock stuff that doesn't make a profit or doesn't make any money, it might be hard to make other films. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. It's been fading away. I don't know what she wants from me because I'm not a paranormal expert. I can't help her. I didn't move here to become obsessed with a ghost. I don't know what's happening to me. She was possessed. I'm not afraid of her. Honestly, I really don't know what I saw. the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.